Well, you can look to traditional masculine and feminine archetypes and also realize that um, archetypes, like all beings, grow and change in time. And sometimes they die. And sometimes new ones are born. And when they're born, their identity, their beingness, takes a while to fully form. So there's an exploratory phase. Um, so like there are um, emerging archetypes. Like one of the emerging male archetypes is like the computer nerd. Um, like that didn't really exist a few generations ago. And there are women who are t totally into computers and coding and stuff. But what, maybe 10% of coders are women? I don't know. Um, and so maybe that would be a masculine archetype, uh, a new one. So there's a lot of them. You know, there's ancient ones, the archetype of the wizard, um, the archetype of the king, the archetype of the warrior. These are the classic ones. Uh, and female archetypes, the archetype of the priestess. Um, of course, there's the mother, the maiden, those f foundational, the crone, um, the wise woman, uh, the prostitute. Like there are different um, archetypes that serve different functions. And, um, you know, I'm not a folklorist or a mythologist really, but I think it would be a fruitful study to, to look at those and, and how they inhabit us and how we inhabit them. And I would just say, yeah, like, um, sometimes you can, in a certain individual, you can see an archetype represented very strongly. And that person um, teaches you indirectly how to be a man or how to be a woman. You're like, yeah, I want to be like that. And it may not be gendered. It may be that this person teaches you how to be the human that you want to be. But you may get a sense of them as distinctly a man or a woman, too. This is a deep study that I'm not that familiar with. Cultures of memory, as Orland describes them, he says cultures of memory, by which he means indigenous and other traditional cultures. They had a much deeper understanding of what it takes for someone to grow up, to be a man or a woman. And they might see our society as full of uninitiated, immature men and women who have never really grown up. And when we meet someone who has, it speaks to us. We recognize a development that's happened in them that we yearn for ourselves. Yeah, it's like something there I want. There's something that is shown to be missing through my observation of this person.